back. We're hungry. And no, we're definitely not going fishing. Not in this. We're in Kulu, and as you can see, the heavens have opened and there's water everywhere. We're immaculate. We have a perfect record of going to the wrong place at the wrong time every time. Only on highway on my plate. Only on highway on my plate. So we hit the deserts when it's really hot. We hit the mountains in the winter. And of course, we hit Kulu Manali when it's pouring. But what's also exciting over here is that a lot of foreigners have settled down and they've brought their own distinct flavors into this region. Why do you think so many foreigners settle down over here? Because they miss the rainfall at home. Really? Yes. I thought the reason is a little smoky, a little hazy. It's not very clear. Could that be anything to do with it? That's true. I'm having yeah. short-term memory loss about all these things. I wonder why. <laughs> I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll divide up the work. I'll go that way, look for him. Actually, food and breakfast. You go that way and see if you can catch some fish. The devil and the deep blue sea. We're walking around in the rain. We're going to meet some friends who come from Sham Ashram and we're supposed to meet them at a little place called Valentino's. And if you blink, you'll miss it. Says right here, Valentino's cooking with herbs. And this is where our friends are waiting, hopefully. It's just sheer coincidence that they happen to live across a place that is supposed to have really fabulous cooking. Let's go in and start eating. Hopefully, they're all here already. On a beautiful rainy day like this, nothing warms the heart like fresh food and old friends. And even though we met them about two minutes ago, they already seem like we've known them for a lifetime. Meet our friends. That's Bhaktinath, Krishna, Purnima, Devender, Gyan, Prema, and Manorma. And they've brought a whole lot of food for us, which they've prepared <laughs> just close by where they live over here. So. This is amazing, guys. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Thank you. It's a great delight to feed you. Really? Thanks. And we're into yoga, and you know, without bow for great food, there's no yoga. There's no yoga. <laughs> we completely agree with that. You want to be friends with us, just give us free food. Uh, not to be so mercenary. There's also a lot of people who make Kulu their home to find satisfaction, some of life's answers, or at least to be able to ask the right questions, like when's lunch? <laughs> so, lunch is now. Lunch is now. We're all set, we're all set. You get everything at once. Appetizers, balas, <laughs> Oh, wow. So, these are dahi balas made with moong dal. And when I heard you guys were coming, I was jumped up, ready to make balas, and the power went off. So, there we were at the chutney stone. So, so I, I can claim, honestly claim that they're the most traditional style handmade. of Handmade dahi balas. Handmade dahi balas. <laughs> and, and you were doing a bit of the grinding too, is that right? Big part here. Actually, I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say that. Oh, Hindi! Woo! Krishna, I'm going to say that. And I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to say one of the guys after our own hearts because he's only worked for 10 seconds and he's already happy to take all the credit for that. <laughs> which, is, which is good, which is good. So Krishna, well, how, did you start, how did you learn to make all these things? I, first I learned by eating and right. going to every chat bandar I could possibly go to and thinking these are the best thing I, I've ever eaten. That's the stage we're at. Yeah. <laughs> so then I went about learning and I asked every chat while I could find and they would tell me half a story. And my friend Gyan here, we've had a joke going for the last 30 years. When she ate dahi balas in Delhi once, she said, these are the best, most softest balas. You can't make like this. And so I thought, okay, that was a challenge. So for the last 30 years, I've been working at it. And has she got closer to it? Just last week. <laughs> Just last week. <laughs> Our timing is not always that bad. Yes, another thing that happens at ashrams is that you learn a lot of patience. Well, we don't live in one, so Krishna, could you just please okay, pass their on now? <laughs> well, I always say that. I always say the most important ingredient in any food is love. And of course, red chili powder helps. What? Well, you like chili, I know. Absolutely, I love it. In case you haven't figured out yet, our friends here also love the show. They've been watching it fairly regularly. Very yeah, 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 yeah. In fact, yeah. I fell in love with the show when you were in UP and Rocky said, we love to be in UP because we love the should Hindi here. And at that moment, I fell in love with you. Right. And then I fell in love with your love of India. 
and your great love for one another. And I really love the food. Oh, that's that's Thank really nice. You. I have one question though. Yes, when he was friend. talking about the shud Hindi, did he say that in Hindi or did he say that in English? <laughs> uh, I can't remember. <laughs> Must have been should. <laughs> Either way. And I have these hats. We have these hats. These are traditional Kulu hats from Butico Weavers. And I think this matches your shirt, Rocky. Yes, it does. And Perfect. Mayor, for your shorn walks, this is your hat. Oh, wow. Look wow. at that. How's it look? Hey. Does it look good? <laughs> oh, no, oh wow. Would you like to eat some? Those of are really soft, honey oh, wow. <laughs> No two ways about it. Wow. Look at that. So who's Kristen Jordan? That's me. You used to be Kristen Jordan. Yes. I... <laughs> oh, it's got my name on it. It says, Dear Rocky, love your show. Hope the Bhalas whetted your indefatigable appetite. Best wishes from a great admirer of Indian cuisine and culture. Dana dana pe likha hai khane wale ka naam. Woohoo! That I know. <laughs> Dear Mayu, the essence of the one eternal being reflects through your delightful humor, your appetite for diverse experience, and most of all, your discriminating taste buds. Wow. <laughs> and your name must be all permeating. Thank you. Appetizers, and these are pokeries made with suji and meda, and these are my own secret recipe: potato noodles. I've even had chai wallets ask me what the recipe is. Right. Won't tell them. Yeah, you see, my background is Italian, and I love noodles, so I thought to perfect the Indian semi. <laughs> <laughs> What mm -hmm. other delicacies are cooked by various people at this table? Well, I specialize in desserts, and um, these are <laughs> coffee chocolate chip squares, which I'd like oh, to wow. present to you. And um, everything that I make is mitai uh, dinner under, so without <laughs> eggs. What's, uh, did you get anything for Rocky? <laughs> <laughs> My friend, I have to look out for him. Yeah, yeah. He needs to eat too. It's a food show. Technical question. How do you get stuff to rise without the egg? Oh, there are many ways. Yeah. Many ways. Okay. Um, but my biggest secret mm. is imported every place, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the best thing to have over here now that you're here? Do you recommend the pizza? Should we try a pizza? Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Pizza's yeah. good. Yeah. Pizza's yeah. really good. Yeah. Now, this place is only vegetarian, yes? Yes. yes. And all of you are vegetarian as well? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the pizza. Lovely. Vegetarian pizzas are my dad. Thank you. That's our friend Prem who runs this place. It's a lovely little place and he's got us a delightful looking pizza, Prem. What all have you put in this? Kya kya isme? Uh, artichok, jalapenos, mushrooms, and paper syrup. Wow. Thank you. This one is olive, eggplant, and paper syrup. And a little bit of artistry here. <laughs> <laughs> So if you ever get down to Valentino's cooking with herbs, what I can show you is that you're going to get a great pizza and some incredible company to have interesting chats. It's time for Rocky and Mayu's report card. Rocky taste. Seven. Nine. Ambience. Nine. Nine. Service. Ten. Ten. And value for money? Seven. Seven. That's a pretty good report card, considering that the food was really nice and the ambience and the place is just spectacular. 
We're with Whippin, who's just the nicest and the sweetest host that we've ever had, Whippin. You never leave without leaving a mark, so this is for you. Lovely food, dear. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We're standing in the heart of Kulu town, in front of the famous Sapna Sweets that serves the legendary Thali. This area is the Akhara Bazaar and its reason why it's known as the Akhara Bazaar is because the Bairagis used to have their Akharas over here. That is a, a sect of, no it's not the wrestling kind of Akharas, it's the areas where they used to worship and pray and this is the heart of Bairagi sort of culture that stems out from around Kulu. This is also the heart of good food and here at Sapna Sweets you'll find local delicacies like Siddhu, the cricketer, Sepu Badi, Navjot Singh, Sepu Badi, I don't know anybody called Sepu Badi, and Lingri ki Sabzi. They also have an eggless bakery. This is very, very popular with the locals around here. So let's go and find out why. Besides eating all this delicious food, we're also going to get an education about the food that is specific to this region. And who better to do it? Then Mr. Mehta, who is the proprietor of Sapna Sweets and is the fourth generation of people that have been here running this wonderful restaurant. It started in 1908. Yeah, 19. Wow. What we've got here is a lot of delicacies from this region because it's very important to eat the local food wherever you come. Is me jo apki thali hai, ise kulvi thali bolte hain. Ye kullu ka vishesh khana hai ji. Acha. Har shadi mein. Kulvi matlab kullu. Kullu, kullu. Acha. Kullu. Sahi. Har shadi mein yehi khana hota hai. To ye hai sepu badi. Sepu badi. तो सेपु बड़ी होता क्या? सेपु बड़ी उर्द का दाल होता है, उर्द के दाल से बनाई जाती है। अच्छा, तो वो बड़ी बनाई गई है? बड़ी बनाई है, उसको फ्राई किया है, उसके बाद इसको सब्जी के रूप में बनाया गया। Again, a very distinct taste। ये जी, इसका क्या नाम है? सिद्धू है जी। सिद्धू, सिद्धू। और ये किससे बनाई जाती है? इसमें खस खस और अखरोट का गिरी हाथ से पीस के सिलवट्टे पे पीस के तब स्टफ किया जाता है। So you take खस खस and you take walnut and you grind it by hand. That's the filling that goes in, which is filled into the dough, and I think it's steamed. It looks like it's been steamed. It's not steamed. It's not steamed. It almost looks like a momo on the outside, and this is a delightful, bitter, strong, and extremely flavorful taste. And is it typically this thing with this? What is this? This is lingri. 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 What is lingri? Lingri. What is lingri? Lingri is on a high height, like the Rotang height. There is a tree called Jangli. Okay. It is a stick. It is a long stick. Yes. It is a pain from the joints. पेट का डाइजेशन अच्छा होता है। As far as I can tell, it looks like a bean, and it has an extremely pungent and tangy sort of bitey taste to it, and it goes very well with the bitterness of this. So this is delightful. अब ये traditionally कुल्लू का ही जो red taste है। हाँ हाँ हाँ। और ये चटनी इसमें अनार तो है। ये पता चल रहा है मेरे को। और क्या है इसके अंदर? इसमें ब्रास के flower हैं जी। Roasted and raw. That's a lot of exotic ingredients in a little dish called siddu. So simply the steamed bread outside. The little paste made out of couscous and walnuts inside, rhododendron and pomegranate chutney, the lingri, which is oh my highlight for the day so far. I think we all need to learn a lesson from this. Every time you step out, just looking at the plants, the trees, the flowers that are there in your area, I'm sure most of them are really good for some sort of food or the other. So step out there. Unless you have a cactus in your garden, don't try it then. But otherwise, step out there, break off whatever you can. Try and make a sabzi out of it. If it works out nice, call us, we'll come by and we'll eat it. Savage vegetarians. Essentially, what I say is step out there, find the plant, tear it apart and eat it. You never say that as a non-vegetarian. Mr. Zap, this is the filling of the dal filling? Yes, this is the urd ka dal. And what does it mean? It's called dal baturu. Dal baturu. That's delicious. 
Let's see what else we've got on this really nice thali, which is food fit for a wedding or a king, depending on where you're heading. This is, of course, a traditional rajma. There's dal over here. And we've got something else. Ye, uh, kya hai, Surinder Ji? Ye dry fruit raita. What we have here is the raita, which is a little sweet thing, and it has in it the shwaras. Now, if you know what a shwara is in English, write into us at yummy at nadvgoodtimes.com because this is really nice and sweet. After you've helped aid your digestion, you move on to the last and most important thing, that is the sweet. In this case, the gulab jamun, which actually has gulab in it, rose. You have to gulab gulab. The road from Kulu to Manali is an extremely exciting road in the rains. It's been pouring for four days. This is the first time the sun's out, and the road has literally disappeared at hundreds of places. The machines are putting it all back together, but look at the level of water that's going through what is an official highway. Life on the highway is never boring. There's always action, there's always excitement, there's always adventure, and there's always food. For a long time now, we've been taking lift and getting from one place to another thanks to the warm and caring people of this great country. So in return for all these lifts we've been getting, it's time for us to give lifts to people. These broken roads, these harsh terrains, this very difficult sort of uh, route requires that we have our own vehicle. And some good people have decided to give us one. So it's open season, guys. If you want to lift, look for us and you know where to find us. After three days of incessant rain, we have a beautiful sunny morning. We're at a place called Dylan's Toasted and Roasted in Old Manali. And what I want to know is why the fresh smell of roasting coffee is not considered one of nature's great perfumes. It is one of nature's great perfumes. And the smell of coffee. I'm with you. I'm with you. And with us, this industrious looking man is Raj. He's the young man that owns this place. Raj, hi. Hi. What's the story behind Dylan's? Ah, oh, Dylan's. Dylan's kind of uh, three friends gathered. Like two friends of mine, like dreadlock hippie guys from California, and uh, one of uh, myself, like a local guy from this part. And we just came together and decided to start do something that's very interesting with the travelers. And we set up this coffee shop with a name called Double Vision. But somehow, the great legend, Bob Dylan on the wall, just came in appearance, and the people started calling this place Dylan Cafe. This is another identification for me. So you're called Raj Dylan Nalwa. Now is my name is Raj Dylan Nalwa, and everyone, the people are more close, they know me Raj, but most of the people, they know me as a Dylan. This is a delightful tuna sandwich that you can come in and have for breakfast. It's a lot of fun, but what makes this place really interesting is the characters and just the ambience of the place. As he mentioned, there's a lot of Israelis over here. There's a lot of foreigners who come down for a cheap, delicious, wholesome breakfast, which is what we're doing right now. I'm having something called the Bohemian pancake, which has no filling that you can see. All the fillings are inside. There's fresh fruits and there's really nice spices. So you don't have to make a great amount of fuss when you're making a great breakfast. This is not gourmet food. This is just basic, simple, plain eggs, potatoes, some great homemade jams, but the key ingredient over here is the attention to detail and the freshness of all the ingredients. So if you're ever down in Old Manali, this is the place to come down to, to have yourself a really good breakfast. Our journey is off to a fantastic start. Blocked roads, floods, incessant rain, and incredible views. Kulu was great. Manali is just the start of an adventure. Unlike a lot of people who you'll see walking past right now, we're not going to get into the trekking. We're going to do the serious business of eating. 
because that's what we do best. We're going to leave you now and we'll catch you further up into the mountains, but not before we give you the food codes. Kulu gave us Sapna Cafe, Valentino and the Sera that makes news. Around every corner of the road over here, there are many beautiful views. Whether you're an Indian, ya to videshi hai, sare milke bolo. Bharat Mata ki jai! Let's go give some people lifts. Bhai sahab, bhai sahab, aapko lift chahiye? Aao na, better please. Better, better, please, please, please.